But before we get started, we need to do two quick experiments. First, get yourself a sheet of paper. Hold it flat against your hand and spin it round in a circle. If you're not near a sheet of paper, then try spinning our hero in the picture above. You'll notice that as the paper moves through the air, you feel force pushing back molecules that make up into the paper and create this force. The molecules may be tiny, but there's so many of them you can really feel it. This force is also known as drag, or simply air resistance. Now, take that sheet of paper and make a paper aeroplane. Here's a template and a guide to building a plane. Or, if you're pushed for time, simply screw the paper up into a ball. It'll be less fun, but the experiment will still work. Now, let's say that you want your plane, or scrunchy ball, to reach the moon. Throw it as hard as you can into the sky and see how you get on. Do it for real, and then try launching the plane above. I guess that it didn't quite make it to the moon. Am I right? What happened was your throwing action propelled the plane into the sky. But the power soon ran out after another force pulled the plane back to Earth. What was that mysterious force? And how do we design and power a rocket so that it really can reach outer space? Let's find out. <laughs> 